All right, guys, it's that time again. Which is better? And this time, it's going to be a Merciful Fate special. And it'll be down to you to decide which album is better. Time or night. And we're going to start right now. So Time is just a dark album on one of probably one of my favorite albums by Merciful Fate. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of different songs. So Nightmare Be Thy Name, this song kicks ass and it's a great way to start the album. It includes a great intro with a heavy riff, excellent double bass and classic vocals where King says, Master, you know I never pray. Right here, this is classic Merciful Fate. Angel of Light. This song is full of demonic vibes. Has a great riff, excellent drumming, and once again, has the vocals from The King. I have seen the Angel of Light, or I have seen the Angel of Light, Lucifer. Rich's Dance. Another classic song. It has some heavy bass with some great guitar. This is a slower song with some tempo changes and a violin piece in the middle, but nevertheless a classic. Mad Arab. It's an okay song. My Demon. Probably has the heaviest riff on the album. The song shows off different styles of Merciful Fate with its tempo changes and the part with King's demonic laugh in the background. Time. It's a slow song. It has a harpish chord throughout the entire song, but there is just something about this song. It, it does get a little heavy towards the end, right before a kick-ass guitar solo. And this song doesn't disappoint avid fans. The Preacher, another okayish song, Lady in Black. It starts out heavy with a riff and goes through the tempo changes, making the song one of the best on the album. There are some great solos in the song along with great drumming. Along with the lyric, Lady in Black was here now, here to take me far away. Mirror, another slow song but with heavy parts. <coughs> Again, there's something about this song that makes it stand out. King has some great vocals. The Longest Journey is one of your own. The Afterlife has a slow beginning and then gets heavy. One of the many classics from this album I shouldn't disappoint Merciful Fate and the fans. Castillo de Mortes. At first when I saw the Spanish title I thought to myself, what could this be? But this song itself is heavy. Kick ass. Probably means Castle of the Dead in Spanish. Let me know in the description down below if you know what the translation in English is. It begins slow but then gets heavier and heavier. It's about angels and demons battling in the sky. King has some classic lines in the song like Nine Units of Demon, The Ancient One's Command. One epic end to the album. Now we're going to switch gears and look at the Nine album. Now Merciful Fate broke up back in the 80s but thankfully King Diamond and then some metal fans cravings were fulfilled until Merciful Fate reunited in 1993. Since then they released several full of albums since. Various genres of metal are covered on this album 9. And you have your thrash, insane, slash house on the hill, you have your black metal, soul my soul, burning hell, and you have your doom metal, the graveyard, buried alive, and the plain odd 9. But it's all done in classic merciful fate style and it simply rocks. Last Rites kicks off the album at a fast pace and shows Merciful Fate do not mess around. It is the multi-tempo pieces that ranges from doom and slow to fresh and fast. The song The Church of St. Anne is an epic multi-tempo piece that is extremely catchy with blistering guitars, shredding solos in the abundance. So My Soul is a dark little piece that is very catchy and packs a heavy punch. House on the Hill has, a, has guitars and riffing insanely fast and King's excellent vocals combined with the eerie lyrics create a great atmosphere for this tune. Burning Hell is a fast paced metal with the usual fake lyrics and some of Diamond's best vocal performances on the entire album. The Grave is a doom tinged piece that is slow but sludging and has a very creepy mood to it. Once again, King steals the show on this track but it's the guitars that stand out on Insane which has a very creepy, cryptic main riff and sounds so cool when you listen to it. Also insanely cool ending by the way. 
Red Road causes well. Kiss the Demon begins with a slow piece that has disturbing feeling floating through and then explodes into absolute riffage. Nine is a short but sweet track with a weird vocal performance from the kick. So there you have it. Let me know in the, the, the comments down below which you thought was the better album. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.